In this tutorial, I want to show you how to match any color in the world, specifically how to match skin tones using basically four colors, titanium white, ivory black, cadmium red and cadmium yellow. Whoa, just four. Yeah, just four. Any skin tone in the world with just four colors. Coming up. Hello, I'm back. My name is Ibnosa Asayotin Isaac and I just completed this beautiful painting of Tauma right here. If you want to see the entire drawing process while I actually explain some interesting techniques in color mixing, I want you to stay to the end of the video. The method I want to show you involves you spending less time in the process of color mixing. Because I find that I spend too much time mixing colors and when I start painting actually I find out that colors are not even that accurate. So why did I spend so much time trying to get them and then find out that they are wrong? This technique involves you mixing just a little amount of paint. Don't have to mix the whole world. Just mix a little then as you go you are touching it a little bit here and there. That means that you will not get your perfect mix at the first time but as you continue to paint you improve on it by just touching with a little bit of yellow a little bit of red as you go on firstly let us establish the dark tones the areas where the shadows are the areas that are really dark I bet you this is gonna be the easiest part to mix um, the first thing I want to do is take your ivory black and take your cadmium red and mix them together just mix those two you, are, you don't have to bother how much um, we are just basically trying to make the black look more natural we still need a black but we need it to have that warm redness in it that's why we're adding red to black so do that and let's get going although ivory black is a dark color which is the blackest black you can ever get it's like pitch black Chances are you will never actually get to use it in a portrait drawing. This is what I mean. There is always going to be a tint of another color in it, usually blue or red. So um, I want us to work with the warm area because when you tint it with blue, you are going, you are going cold. Okay, it's getting cool. Or you tint it with red, you are going hot. So you are not necessarily changing the black from black. You are just pushing it towards a warm direction or towards a cold direction in today's video working with the warm direction which is tinting it with red so chances are you will never get to use ivory black in its pure form you will have to mix it with another color except maybe in areas like the hair or or the pupae of the eye you hardly ever use black in its pure black form We are talking about skin tone, so just get an orange and dirty it down a little bit with some some of our red black mixture and uh, lighten it a little bit with some white and then just you know add some black, add some white. Just when when it looks like what you are going for, then you stop there. Then you can tint it to the to the yellow region and tint it to the red region in another different mixture. That one will help to bring some beauty to the um, to the face, okay. And also, you can mix it with white in steps so that you get the gradient. But I don't always do that because I kind of add white as I go on. And also, you can also mix it with black. That's the black red mixture to get the gradient upward. So basically, what you did just now was you mixed a mid tone color that. It's going to be like the base color or the base tone for your portrait and then you can now add some white to create a gradient downwards towards um, you know brightening the gradient in value or add some black red mixture to darken the gradient gradient in value so basically your whitest white is going to be a pure white which you rarely see it's rare. Your darkest dark is going to be your black red mixture, then your mid tone is going to be your 
the one you just mixed. I hope I make any sense. <laughs> Now, when you have your, when you finally get your color mixing done right, and you have your base skin tone paint done right, it's gonna look a bit orange, um, but lighter with a lot of white. Um, what I want to do is now tint it, because as you go around looking at your portrait, there will be some areas that are more red and some areas that are more yellow. Those are the little bit of um, tint um, variation in tint. There will be a little bit of variation in the color. The first base skin tone you are going to mix should be done in a large quantity. Don't mix it with your brush. When you mix with your brush, you are just playing around with a little bit of paint. Take a fat knife <laughs> and mix a large amount of orange. Add some red, red, black and white mixture till you get the skin tone you want. Once you've gotten the skin tone you want, that should be a large amount of paint, as I'm trying to say. Because that, amount, that chunk of paint is what you're going to now separate to mix every other value. To mix every other value, to get the entire color group you want to work with. So you're going to use that same chunk and darken it to get the darker shade. That same chunk and brighten it to get the brighter shade. That same chunk and tint it to get the tint to the red or to the white. Most times, the tint is usually in the lighter area. That's when you're lighting it down, you are getting towards the highlight of the portrait. That's where you get some deviations in color. Sometimes it tints towards yellow, most times towards yellow, sometimes towards pink. So, of course, you want to tint it towards yellow, add yellow. <laughs> you want to tint it towards pink, add red. Because we said it's already light, so there's already some white in it. So red and white makes pink. You get it. Now, the easiest and the most accurate color mixing you will ever do is with your palette knife and the tip of your brush in little tiny sections. And it's going to be done on your canvas. That is, you are going to put a little color on your canvas and you're going to find that it's not right and you add some colors and you touch that same place layering it over the first one that was not wrong and believe me that mistake is going to turn out to something beautiful mixing your colors directly on the canvas is very important in fact allow yourself to intentionally make mistakes on your canvas and fix them on your canvas you will come out with beautiful effects you've never imagined Imagine just, you know, just getting all the colors right immediately. You could have this cartoonish looking painting, but the process of mixing the colors again and changing the colors right there on the canvas kind of adds some texture and brings out the beauty of oil painting and the beauty of a la prima method. Also note that it's almost impossible to layer white over another color using a la prima method which means a la prima means painting wet on wet because the white is most certainly going to mix with the other color underneath so areas where you need white to be in place your white first i know this completely um messes up the idea of painting from dark to, to light those extremely white highlights you put that first with the white paint and then paint around it with any other color as you go on but of course if you want your white to be on top of another color and you want it to mix with the color behind it if that's what you want do it there's really no right way or wrong way to paint whatever works for you just do it thank you very much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it and learned one or two things from it my uploading schedule has not been perfect but please i'm still going to upload every week I just don't know when because I am very busy <laughs> painting for clients and stuff. So most of the paintings you see me upload is not the only painting I did that week. So if I upload one painting, I may have done three or four paintings. I just don't have the freedom to share it with you yet or at all. I may not be able to share it with you at all. 
so you know clients privacy those kind of stuff but my personal paintings i'll definitely share with you that's why my videos can be delayed not that i'm not painting but i can't show you you get you should get thank you very much if you want to see my tutorial on how to paint dark skin tones specifically um click over there if you want to subscribe and you've not already done so click over here <laughs> If you want to just check out my entire playlist on oil painting, click over here. If you want to follow me on social media, click, oh please, just follow me at android.ju.it.